Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Ninja Rim. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we use ChatGPT to create an organization chart for our business and how you can do the same exact thing for your business. So with that being said, we're just gonna hop right into it. Let's go. All right, boom, so here it is. You wanna open up ChatGPT and create a new chat. We created a new chat right here. The last one we did was the, uh, the, the, 30 day post for a VR company, right? So we're gonna continue along that path, like right? we have the 30 day post. So again, you want to speak as the owner, CEO of the business. You wanna speak in that realm. So with that being said, let's just dive down this road because I know most of our business, most business owners who are starting off, they're wearing multiple hats. They're, they're the CEO, they're the salesperson, they're the marketer, they're the human resources, if you want to say, they're the customer service, all of the above, they're everything. But again, uh, figuring out all of the different roles that encompass your business will help you in the long run when it goes to growing your business. So with that being said, we're just gonna continue on. Start a new chat, right? You wanna speak as the CEO. So I am the, the CEO of a virtual reality production agency. And, and I need you to act as the human resource manager or chief operating officer. Would that be operations? I think so. Chief Operating Officer of the business and give me a breakdown of the of the organizational chart for all of the roles that are necessary to to operate the business. I feel like I'm long-winded on that, but I just want to make sure ChatGPT gets it right. So we're going to see what our results are, right? Boom, and there it is. And it, and it broke it down by departments. Look at the departments, right? So, boom, here it is. You have the CEO. You as the CEO will oversee overall visions, strategy, and direction of the agency. Again, you as a CEO, you see oversee overall vision, strategy, and direction of the agency. Leadership team, being the chief operating officer, the chief, the chief creative officer, right? Responsible for day-to-day -day operations and management of agency, that's the operating officer. Creative officer in charge of the creative direction and quality of virtual reality production, right? Technology officer te oversees the technology and development aspects, ensuring VR projects meet technical standards. Very, very important. Financial officer, finances are super important. Finances, budgets, financial strategy. And then you go into production and development. So you have, this is the actual, these are the actual multiple hats that you are wearing right now. Right, so production manager responsible for planning and execu executing VR projects, including resources, allocating, scheduling, quality control, content creator, 
they create the VR um, VR uh, experience, right? Software developer, they create, they also help facilitate the UI of the VR experience. I'm just now, now just freestyling, but you can read it if you want to. Um, hardware engineer, again, handle aspects including VR he headset compatibility and optimization, Q&A testing team. They test out the, it's in the name, right? Technical support provides customer support for troubleshooting VR. So that's your customer support when people call in like, hey, my VR isn't powering up or whatever the case may be. It, they're able to help them. You have the sales director, which they generate leads, marketing manager, so on and so forth. I'm not going to go all the way down the list, but look, it broke down each and every individual person that you would need to have on your team. Now, what do you, Chris, why are you showing me this? What do you need to do with, what do I do with this? Essentially, now that you have this, now you can create a business plan because now you need, now you understand who you need on your team. And now that you have this, you can start to find people that can fill these roles. You can find people that can fill these roles. And now that you have this, you can actually see how much a person on that salary would make at, in that role. After you're able to calculate all of that, now you can see what your operating expenses are to run your business and have people who are who are specialized in their individual lane in their individual industry to help you see your vision through because again as the chief executive officer the ceo you will oversee the overall vision you will oversee the overall strategy you will oversee the overall direction of the actual agency it doesn't say you will be you will be running hr or you will be doing legal counsel, or you will be doing the, being the software developer or the content creator. It doesn't say that. It says you will be overseeing the overall overarching vision of the actual business. And that's essentially where you want to get to as far as that's the mindset again that we even push in the Creator Academy. That's where you want to get to. You're probably currently doing all of the hats on the production and development. But you want to get to the CEO like, hey, I have the ideas. Now I just want the best people working on this stuff. Super, super important. That's why this is super important to have this. But then you also want to include this into your actual business plan. So that being said, so boom, there it is. That's exactly how you can create a quick, quick, quick mock-up of what it takes to run your, your actual business. What the, what the different roles of your business are. How many roles are you currently are you currently feeling right now and which which roles can be you know uh delegated to somebody else to do so with that being, being said super super important and if you found value in this if you didn't find value in this i don't know what you're finding value in i mean we could get into the production stuff which a lot of people like to do that that's the that's the fun stuff but this is the foundational things that again a lot of the creator academy is all about and if this sparks your interest and you're not even in the creator academy i don't even know what you're waiting for so make sure you go to digitalrem.com that's digital rapid eye movement digital rem Dot com and join the Creator Academy. Join the waitlist for the Creator Academy where you can get access to the actual video library. We go over stuff just like this. Yeah, the lights, the cameras, the content, the, the graphics and all that are cool and all, but again, setting up a business, setting up a foundation, setting up the fundamentals to actually scale, grow, and, and flourish in your business very, very super important. And that's why you use tools just like this to understand all of the different roles that encompasses your vision. So then you can start to, as you scale, as you grow, you can start to delegate tasks out to individual, individual roles strategically to grow your business. Again, each individual role, you might be doing a, wearing multiple hats and have a watered down version of what needs to be done in that role because you only know so much but somebody who's super specialized in a specific thing can step in on that role and give you insight on better movements on in that in that area or in that arena and better things to do so a surrounding you being able to surround yourself by people that are way smarter than you in specific industries very very important and that's essentially where you want to get to you want to be the the ceo with the vision the strategy the 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 direction but again having the best people to work on your product that having the best people work on your team having the best people and I, I i use on your loosely on our even even if it's this room on our project 
as a team, we're working collectively. It's a we thing, not a you thing. It's a we thing. We are going to create something great. We, as people are coming on the team, we are doing this thing. We are. So again, having that ownership across the board, very, very important. But again, it starts with understanding the titles that need to be filled, knowing the compens the right compensation for those type of titles that need to be filled, and being able to fund those Fund those, fund those different roles to get you to, to your goals, get you to get you to where you need to be. Very, very important. And also having this in the business plan, very, very important as well. Because again, when you go for funding or grants or whatever the case may be, however you, however you approach funding, when you go for that, when you show them something like this, you look a lot more polished than this, the next person. So that being said, super, super important. That's why you really want to tap into this and make sure. You join the Creator Academy where you can learn lessons just like this. Um, and if this, you found value in this, make sure you uh, share this with anybody that you know that can you utilize this type of information. But it also, make sure you like, subscribe so you can get notified when we drop more lessons just like this. But more than anything, just go to just go to digitalrim.com and, and and subscribe to our newsletter where again you'll get notified as soon as we drop new content when we when we drop new sales when we drop new products when we drop new templates when we drop new things in our store you'll be notified first and foremost so with that being said all y'all have a blessed day do that one thing that takes you closer goes like i always say all y'all have a blessed day lady y'all